Whoa, that sounds a bit sus, does that? <laughs> That's a good one, because it's a sus card. I want to start by giving you some practical information that you can use right away. You can take the one, the two, the five and the six cards from any key and use them as both sus two and sus four cards and you'll still just be using notes from the key. So I can take a simple chord progression like this one. And I can easily change it into something like this. So on top of the normal chords that I would play, this has potentially added another eight chords on top of that. Yes, and if this is all you take away from this video, then it really is worth pressing the thumbs up button and subscribing to this channel right now. And if that's not a good enough reason, then why not have a free PDF full of sus chord shapes that you can use on the guitar as well? It's in the description box just below the subscribe button and the like button. Oh, I forgot. Uh, why you sus chords? When we make music, we play around with creating senses of tension and release. Suspended chords or sus chords are a great tool for adding suspense to your chord progression. I suspected that. <laughs> they change the major or minor third intervals that are used in major and minor chords. This is not as confusing as it sounds, but we're going to come to that in just a moment. We replace these third intervals with either second or fourth intervals. These chords have a more open sound to them with a slight dissonance, and this dissonance provides tension. This tension can hold back resolutions to more stable sounding chords like your normal minor and major chords. Sounds a bit suspicious to me, but I might be susceptible to using them more. Right, these puns are really starting to get on my nerves. Now. You were the one who wrote them. Let's use the obvious key. If we take the first note, the third note, and the fifth note from this scale, then we have a chord. Now this is a three note chord, so it's called a triad because it has three notes. And we can use this same principle for every single note of the scale. And we end up with a series of triads that are just our basic minor and major chords within a key. If we look at this first chord, starting on C, we have a root note, we have a third, which in this case is a major third interval, and we have a fifth interval. Now because this is a major third interval, this gives us a C major chord. If we were to lower this major third by a semitone, this would mean that we're now playing a minor third interval. This will give us a C minor chord. But if we go back one more semitone from here, we're now not playing a major third or a minor third. We've replaced those thirds with a major second interval. Now, because there isn't a third, it can't be a major chord or a minor chord anymore. That information has been replaced, which turns this into a suspended chord. Now, because we've replaced it with a major second interval, we're left with what's called a C sus2 chord. Okay, I get that. So I'm guessing it's the same with the sus4 chord as well. Yeah, so if we go back to this C major chord, the one we started with, and this time what we're going to do is we're going to take this third and we're going to raise it. We're going to make it higher by a semitone, which is here. So now, again, we've got rid of the thirds. We haven't got a minor third. We haven't got a major third. We've replaced that third with a fourth interval. You see, one, two, three, four. And now we're left with a C sus4 chord. I think I've got that sussed out. If we were to do this for every chord in a key, you will find that you can use both the sus2 and the sus4 chords on chords 1, 2, 5 and 6. The 3 chord we can turn into a sus4 and the 4 chord we can turn into a sus2 and we're still going to be playing notes just from within the key. Now you have a lot of extra chords that you can play around with while you're making music. Now that is actually really useful, but I don't play the piano, I play the guitar. The theory is the exact same, but when it comes to the guitar, the trick is to know whereabouts in the chord shapes you are playing your third intervals, as these will just need to be raised or lowered to turn them into sus chords. You'll come across quite a lot of these shapes before, like a D sus2 and a D sus4. You might come across an A sus2 and an A sus4. I really like the C sus2 and the C sus4. I've made a free PDF with more useful sus chord shapes for guitar and some pretty cool ones that you might not have played before. Get it by clicking the link right below this video, just underneath the like button and the subscribe button. You will also find more chord shapes and another video on my Patreon page. I really do think that you're gonna really enjoy watching this video next. I hope I've helped you with sussing some of this stuff out. I thought we weren't doing these puns anymore. 